Hello everyone, welcome to Fixing Tiny Tedious Things. I've just come across Blogger. I used to use Blogger in 2010, but I didn't know that it, ever, it was built in Python. So recently I chose to create another blog for one of my websites. And when I signed in, let me show you. Let me first sign in. This is blogger.com. And this is my ID. Just know that if you are first to blogger, if you haven't used it before, this is the information. Uh, you can sign into blogger using your Gmail account. Basically, blogger is owned by Google, so you can use your Google email to sign into blogger. So let's hit next. I'm going to enter my password. So this is what blogger looks like from backend. Here's one of the blogs I had created in the past. If I click here, it goes to topidguys.blogspot.com. Internet of Things. As you can see, I last posted on 24th of March. I haven't been using it since then. So, let me show you the backend section. Here's theme. If I go in and click on edit HTML. See, these are all Python commands I think. I'm pretty new to Python so anything I see I try to observe if it is in Python or not. But I recently came across and uh, came to know that blogger is written in python which is pretty good i wasn't sure about it i have been using it but didn't know which language was used to build it so this is pretty good to me so i'll be able to edit some of the themes blogger has to offer once i learn python properly be great for me this is the theme I'm using for the moment I had read somewhere that it was written like this it was written in Python wait a second let me check Let's search blogger is written in Python. See, blogger is written in Python. Blogger service. Blogger is a blog publishing service that allows multi user blogs with timestamp entries. It was built by Pyra Labs, which was built by Google in 2003. Okay, written in Python. Wow, and I wasn't aware of it until I started learning Python a year back. So this was it. This is the blog. I just wanted to show you. 